Yo, it is good YouTube and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Dark Matter Anthony Davis. And obviously, I'm super excited to try out Anthony Davis. Always an exceptional power forward. I'm really interested to see how well he moves and how good his release is on very quick. Just overall, how good of a card he is in the power forward position. Because I'm sure he'll be one of the best power forwards in the game. I just want to see how truly elite is he. Does he take that crown as like maybe the best gambling power forward? Besides, I guess there's 100 overalls. There's a... There's a ton of cars that are gay cap behind gambling you got to think about to compare to at times, but I do think he could very much be on the Hakeem Olajuwon type level as like a top tier gambling power forward. So before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Help me push towards the 25,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day and would really appreciate it if you'll do subscribe. Massive shout out to my boy Dylan for letting me hop on his account to record this gameplay as well. And without further ado, let's hop right into it. AD is six foot ten at power forward, 99 offense and defense, 96 driving layup, 96 post stats. 98 close shot 97 mid range 94 three ball 90 free throw 95 standing and driving dunk you might actually be able to get him three point or a sharp, sharp, sharp shooting takeover if you were to boost up his mid range three point and free throw maybe i don't think so though because block steel perimeter interior rebounding are all insane you're probably going to get defensive takeover 97 vert 97 stam 95 lateral quickness uh 94 speed 90 speed ball he's a really good really complete card 38 hoffs include i mean pretty close to everything important including even the agent three limitless range all the defense uh perimeter and interior and Movable enforcer, bulldozer, everything. He is super complete and super good. I mean, he's got gold handles for days, unpluckable. He's not the best playmaker in the world, but he doesn't really need to be. Badges he's missing, space creator and touch pass. If you want to add him, go for it. Don't think it's that important. But either way, AD is going to be really good. I don't know if I said it. I think I did. But massive shout out again to uh, to Dylan for letting me hop on his account and record this gameplay. He's been letting me do a bunch of gameplays on his account recently, and I really appreciate it a ton. Not gonna lie. Ooh, they gave. Uh, is that is that Harden's behind the backer? I think that's. That might be the... I, I'm, I'm like tripping right now. I don't even know which behind the back he's got. But attack of the rim, 94, a driving dunk, good same side burst, really good behind the back. Is that Jamal Murray or is that Harden? I'm literally... I'm confused right now. I don't know. His release on very quick feels pretty quick, actually. I'm not going to lie. It's not bad. Uh, I don't know. AD's release is the fastest release in the game, but it's definitely a very smooth, easy catch and shoot, pick and pop release. He's going to be a real threat from the outside. Behind the back definitely gives him an added boost as well. I believe that is Jamal Murray. Uh, and, but he does, I think, have hard and escape, though, which is not great. So you don't love that. Yeah, he's that's definitely Jamal Murray behind the No, that's what behind the back? Okay, hold on. That feels a little different than the Jamal Murray, but sometimes I get these SIGs a little mixed up. Um, that is, it is hard behind the back. Okay, I was right. So definitely still a very good behind the back. Not quite as good as Jamal probably, but still very good. And overall, I like this card. Hard and escape isn't great, but outside of that, his movement is pretty good. And overall, I just, I think he's going to be a dog. He's elite af offensively. He's an elite athlete. He's going to be amazing defensively. AD should be one of the best power forwards in the game, 100%. And I'm excited to use him. Let's hop into a game. See what Anthony Davis can do. Pretty solid opponent squad here with Harden, Jimmy Buckets, Dr. J, Marcus Saul, and Julius Randle. Not a bad team, not an insane team either. We have a better team, obviously. Um, I am excited to try out Anthony Davis, though. I think he's going to be really good. Matched up against Julius Randle, who's a really good, versatile defensive four, but a little smaller than AD. Just not quite as good all the way around, probably. Um, this is an interesting matchup. Let's see what we can do. Obviously, Julius Randle's really good defensively, so we got to be uh, mindful of that. But look at AD escaping away and getting a good look first possession, but not able to hit it. He's a threat from outside, no doubt, but I don't know if he's the best 300 in the world with, I mean, he doesn't have a great escape, and again, he's he's big, and he doesn't have the fastest release in the world, even though it is a very good release, so he may not be the best primary ball handler or the best 300, but he can definitely do a lot of things really, really well, and if his role on offense is mostly spot up in the corner or set a screen and slip and dunk the ball occasionally, catch and shoot, like, that's okay, because that's probably the role in which he's best suited on the offensive end of the court. He's not really a primary ball handler, but... He can definitely do a lot of things well, and then defensively, he can be really impactful. Guard at a high level, just a card who's not going to be a liability in any area at all. And that's really what you're looking for out of your power forward, is somebody who can just kind of do everything at a high level and provide some size as well. And that is exactly what AD does. Amazing block by Cade Cunningham right there. That was a nasty defensive animation. Um, and I'm a little worried about my opponent's ability to score the ball. Not worried about... Not actually worried, like it's not a problem, but oh, well, there you go. If I give him wide open mid ranges, he's going to have a much easier time scoring the ball. That was terrible defense. Um, but like I said, I think at this point, when we're in a game that has so many Trey escapes and Kimba escapes and all these extra SIGs that we can use and cars with better SIGs than AD, there's no real need to try to use him as an actual ball handler when he doesn't have the best SIGs in the game. But you know what? He's got some ability. He puts the ball on the floor again, blows by Harden, he gets to the rim, finishes inside of Marcus Saul. Very nice. And he's got four points. Not a bad start at all. Now, ankle 
breaker. Okay, stay in front, Cade. You were just playing amazing defense, and now we're getting shifted. Nope, that's contested. Board, I just tried to leak. I didn't really need to leak there, but I just tried to. Watch the back door here with Wimby. Good D. Contest that, and he greened it. Good shot. Ah, it's too much space. Good shot. Get the ball in Ricky Davis' hands. Let's go pick and pop here with AD. See if we can get him a catch and shoot three. Um, I just get plucked as soon as I stand still. Are you, are you trolling me? Hello? We, are we trolling today? Um, and then he's just got off ball and we can't. Ah, no, he's actually clicking on. Let's go. That's a well, that's a W. I just I don't know. I'm not I'm not like loving loving AD's movement so far. I mean, I guess he does have a good behind the back and he's got a good same side burst. It's just he doesn't have a good escape and an escape is the escape's probably my favorite move honestly to like use in the half court just to create space and run offense. So his ball handling ability isn't like next level great. But again, he's a power forward. Does it really matter that much? We're kind of nitpicking. He may not have the fastest release in the game. He's not Tyler Hansbro, but that's, again, I don't think he needs to be. He's 6'11". He's a great defender. He's a really interesting, versatile card. Like I said, when he's open, he should be scoping. That was not actually a terrible look. Maybe I should just, maybe I should shoot the ball with a little more confidence, honestly. Okay, I definitely need to shoot the ball with a little more confidence. I'm shooting this one. Of course, that's the one where he doesn't get his feet set and he fades. Oh, no. If I could have just got my feet set, I don't care if it's limitless. I'm greed in that. But... The, he faded. Ah, it's tough. Okay, Wimby, play contest. Get there. No, blown right by by Jimmy Butler. And we're only up by one point right now. It's just not flowing insanely well. I guess, I don't know, AD's not the primary, so that shouldn't be a huge surprise. But we're not flowing as well as I'd like to be right now. Swing it over here. Back to uh, this pick and pop here. Drag back. Attack this way. AD, open. Mismatch. Now I need a good slip um, and drive the ball, AD. Come on, get inside. Yo! Julius Randle is a really good card. He's a great defender. He's super complete badge-wise. Like, that's not a great attack there against a CPU defender. I just didn't blow by him. I thought I was going to get a better animation, but I didn't. I, like, AD, that's the thing. At the power forward position, it, he's not special. There's a million cards who kind of do the same type of thing. He's not He's not a good, fast enough release or anything like that to be unbelievably insane. But, again, he gives you the same thing pretty much that a Galaxy Opal David Robinson is going to give you, a game's going to give you, that type of stuff, which is tertiary playmaking, a great catch-and-shoot shooter, super versatile, good defender, and that makes him a top-tier power forward in the game, regardless of not having insane stats in this game or anything like that. Uh, and, and he can put the ball on the floor a little bit. He's got a, good, a nice a nice behind the back. He's got he's got some stuff to him, you know what I mean? Like, he's he's certainly not a bad card. He's just, or not, but not a bad playmaker. He's just not unbelievably great. Really nice move there. Does get to the rim. You see the off precision dunker and the ability to put the ball down. Put, put the ball down. I think he's, I think it might sound like right now I'm bashing this AD card like he's not insane. He's just not a primary. He's not a freaking insanely overpowered, ridiculous card. He's not game changing. He's really, really good for what he is supposed to be, which is a catch and shoot power forward who can put the ball on the floor occasionally when necessary. A versatile elite defender who provides size and versatility and again, can stretch the floor with a nice release and AD gives you all of that. So that is what he's supposed to do. He's got six, two and two in this game. I'm gonna see if I can get a catch and shoot with him at some point. Our opponent just is not really giving me the opportunity to do it, honestly. Um, back it out again. He's probably gonna reach. Yes, he just keeps reaching. We know you want to reach. We know. Uh, pop again. Catch. Shoot. AD. He's, why is he tired? He graded it anyway. Let's go. I don't know why he's blinking there, but he grades the shot. Told y'all the release was smooth. Just got to shoot it with confidence. If I had a couple opportunities this game that I probably should have shot and didn't, but do shoot that one and knock it down very, very nicely. Um, get out there. Cont oh, I tried to play that like he was going to pass it to Ferry, and he smoked the release anyway. We're fine. Throw it over to AD. Catch. Get inside. Julius Randle. I am blinking, so we're going to kick to the corner. Ferry. Catch. Shoot. He don't get out there to contest. And I missed it anyway. Tough scene. Dang it. Unfortunate. I should have been playing that with Ricky Davis too. I knew he was going to throw it and I came over and rotated, but I faked the rotation. I got to do the full rotation against these dudes. Nobody's actually like sweating and thinking a pass ahead. Um, throw the pop. Attack downhill. Yo, he's, he's, he's really tired though. I'm not going to lie. He is really, really, really tired. So um, post here. I just don't think we're, I can't go up with this. I'm way too tired. I'm blinking this whole possession. Um, drawing a foul there, I guess. It doesn't really matter. We're up four, 11 seconds left. We're going to come out of this with a win, which is good. And honestly, a very solid performance by AD. He's got what? Um, I think he has 11 points or something like that. Like he's had a very solid game. I'm kind of impressed. Um, nine points, two rebounds, two assists. Knocked down his one open three. Um, probably had a couple other looks that I didn't shoot. Overall, AD is, he's super duper solid as a power forward. He's not a game breaking card. He's not a card worth gambling for or anything like that. But when I lock in the Dark Matter Plus pack here in a few days, 
I would not mind getting AD in the slightest. He'd be a great addition to my team and a really, really nice new card. I think he's a great option in my team. I think he's a really good card. So that is going to do it for this video. I think pretty much we do wind up coming out of here with a six point win. Nine, two and two, three, six, one, three from three. Not insane eye popping numbers or anything, but definitely a very, very good all around card. Hope you all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe. I'll be back on more 2K content very, very soon. I appreciate y'all. Peace.